As markets are becoming increasingly diverse and investor and government expectations are changing, successful organizations recognize the importance of equity, diversity, and inclusion in their marketing efforts. One way to do this is by incorporating equity, diversity, and inclusion, or EDI, in marketing and sales programs, including messages, images, and channels. Marketing reflects your organization's values and offerings externally and plays an important role in your public image. Incorporating diversity and inclusion in marketing ensures that your marketing materials are relatable for a wider audience and ensures stronger connections with customers, leading to improved customer satisfaction and revenue opportunities. Marketers have the ability to shape society's perceptions and attitudes through the images and narratives they create. For example, marketers can help to challenge harmful beliefs and assumptions about who or what a leader, athlete, or couple should look or sound like. Let's do a little activity. Take a moment and think of three entrepreneurs. Who comes to mind? When asked to name entrepreneurs, many Canadians might think of Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, or Mark Zuckerberg. This is born of stereotypes which tie the word entrepreneur to men and technology. The Diversity Institute's Women Entrepreneurship Knowledge Hub, See It, Be It initiative, challenges these stereotypes by celebrating successful women entrepreneurs who serve as role models and inspiration to other women. If you can see it, you can be it. Inclusive marketing also makes good business sense. Diverse markets have huge spending power. Here are two examples. The pink dollar, which is the purchasing power of the 2S LGBTQ community, is worth $75 billion per year in Canada. And immigrants now exercise tremendous consumer power in certain markets. In the greater Toronto area, for example, they make up over 50% of residents. If these groups are not taken into consideration, your organization is missing out on opportunities to expand its market. We know that a lack of diversity in advertising can affect customers' purchasing decisions. Customers have stopped supporting brands that failed to represent their identity in advertising. Now, let's explore a few steps you can take to advance an inclusive marketing approach in your organization. One, create policies to ensure that diversity and inclusion is integrated in your marketing program. Two, systematically check marketing or communications materials for stereotypes and formalize this in policies and processes. Three, profile equity-deserving people, including women, indigenous peoples, racialized people, persons with disabilities, and members of the 2S LGBTQ community to highlight their skills, achievements, and contributions. Four, express commitment to diversity and inclusion in your communications materials, which is backed by action. Authenticity is a key factor in inclusive marketing. It's crucial for organizations to authentically align their values and practices with their marketing campaigns in order to earn the trust and support of consumers who are becoming more socially conscious. Consumers are increasingly interested in purchasing products and services from organizations that prioritize strong cultural and ethical standards. They are also vigilant in detecting any false or inauthentic attempts by organizations to capitalize on these values for their own gain. There are many examples of organizations that have failed to apply EDI to their marketing campaigns or applied EDI inauthentically and were met with public backlash and consequences for their brand's reputation. There are also many organizations that have taken a considerate approach to EDI and have demonstrated their commitment to diversity and inclusion, resulting in positive outcomes. To create a truly inclusive marketing strategy, it is essential that equity, diversity, and inclusion are integrated into the core of an organization's identity, policies, and practices. This means that organizations must be committed to promoting diversity, not only in their marketing campaigns, but also in their workplace culture, human resource processes, and organizational practices. It is important for organizations to ask themselves, how diverse is our talent? And how is diversity embedded in our culture, strategy, human resource processes, products, and services? A diverse workforce ensures that different perspectives are represented in the development of products and services, marketing strategies, and overall organizational culture. As markets become even more diverse and globalized, a workforce that understands your customers or community is essential. A diverse workforce can have a direct impact on an organization's relationship with customers, 
which is why it's important to have a marketing team that understands and reflects the diversity of the customers they are trying to reach. If the leadership and marketing team is not diverse, there is a risk that they may get it wrong, despite having good intentions. An inclusive marketing team will help you reach diverse customers. Measuring the success of an inclusive marketing campaign is also crucial. Measurement allows organizations to see the impact of their efforts on the target audience. This information can guide the design of future campaigns and ensure they are more effective in promoting diversity and inclusion. Canadian organizations must be proactive in embracing equity, diversity, and inclusion, not only because it's the right thing to do, but also to remain competitive and meet the expectations of an increasingly diverse customer base. Want to learn more about actions your organization can take to improve EDI? Visit 50-30tools.ca.